All right, guys, it's me, Junior, again. We're gonna show you. I'm gonna show you the the 90 degree um, backing on this video. As you can see, this is the front of the trucks. You know, they're lined up right here. This is the front, the lines. Anytime you do this, you want to be a little bit off. You know, you don't ever want to be on in front of the truck, like right in front of the trucks. We're going to pretend that this is our spot. We're going to pretend that's the other truck. Anytime you back up, you always want to look at the space. How much space you have between the truck and your line on both sides. All right. So always look at it just to make sure you, you're good. Like I said, we're going to pretend this is a truck on the driver's side. Um, this is where we at right here. This is what we're looking like. All right, you never want to, unless you have no choice, you never want to be right on the, right on the line. All right, so always, always try to be off the spot you're going into. So when you back up, you don't want to be right here and then start backing up. Always be out a little bit. I, even, even though... Like I said, unless you have no space, you know, and you have a big wall there, then that's a different story, you know. But for the most part, always give yourself a little bit of space. Whether you're, you know, um, not whether you're doing this, but when you're doing this particular setup, always give your space between the front of the truck or the spot that you're backing into and the trailer and the truck. All right, so I'm going to pull up. Start backing it out, and then I'll walk you through it. As you can see, I pull up straight, get the straight, you know, for the most part. Let's go back here. What I'm gonna do is, I went, whenever you set up for it, you don't wanna go too far from your spot. All right? So I'm gonna back up just a little bit, maybe to over here. To the, the this line, which is to the left of my spot, and then from here, I'm gonna start backing into it. So I'm gonna back it up just a little bit, and then and then start backing up into it. All right, and then whenever I start backing up into it, I'm gonna start turning my wheel to the right to bring the trailer into the spot, and then. One thing I always tell my students is always keep the wheel moving, you know, the, the tire. That's how you know what the trailer's doing, because if you stop, you don't know what the trailer's doing, so you don't know what you have to do to, to correct it, all right? So I'm gonna back up a little bit, then start setting up for it, and then start backing in it, I mean.
right. As you're backing up, when you're swinging, you always have to watch the front. So whenever you're coming in, you know, you turn the wheel to the right, the truck is gonna do this. So whenever it does that, just keep in mind, you wanna be able to watch that. If you're getting too close, you wanna turn the wheel to the left to get away from it and then finish fanning the trailer out. All right, so this is where I'm at now. And this is where I'm at back here. All right. As you can see, I'm looking good. Again, you want to get out and look. If you have trailer tails, you want to close them up. You know, in this case, they'd be closed. You know, if, again, we see the space that we had here before. We look, we're still good. Just we know that the trailer cannot go that way anymore. All right, so whenever we're backing up, we got to immediately see that the back is coming in. All right, so this is where I'm at now. Look at the other side to show you guys. All right, you see I got plenty of space over here. All right. So as you can see, I got my wheels turned already because I'm looking to get under the trailer. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna turn the wheels to the right. The truck is gonna start to catch itself with the trailer get under it. So I'm looking to get the truck and the trailer straight. All right. All right, at this point, I went as far as I could with it. Now remember, if, if you get to looking like this, you wanna stop. As Soon as it happens, you wanna stop. You don't wanna keep going any further. Cause you see the back, it's pointing towards the back, towards the other truck over here on the driver's side. This is what the back looks like. This is what the passenger side looks like. On the other video, I, sh I told you guys that when it starts to happen like this, you stop immediately and then um, you watch it because you don't want the front to hit over here, the front of the truck. You don't want the front of the trailer to hit the front of the truck. If you keep coming back like this, it's harder for you to kind of fix it. So you, as soon as it starts to happen, you want to catch it, stop, pull up. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna pull up to the right. Well, I'm gonna turn my wheels to the right. I'm gonna try to get under it. And then I'm gonna pull up here, probably over here, because I still have to watch the trucks on this side, or, you know, in this case, you know, pretending there's trucks. So anytime you pull up, you always wanna break the plane. All right? Always break the plane. Don't pull up the same way you back up. All right? So keep that in mind. All right? Just pulled up. 
show you what it looks like. I came a little closer this time. So you're looking good on this side. You ain't got nothing to worry. So just make sure you watch the driver's side, all right? We know we're good over here on the on the passenger side. So now our main focus is gonna be on the driver's side. As long as we keep this trailer close to the line, we're gonna be good. Alright. And on this one, I still got the, the pinhole settings. The tandem axles on eighth hole. So what I did was, I pulled up just like that an angle to get the back of the trailer away and then backed it up. I noticed as I was backing it up, I stopped because I seen it going in inward again. So I pulled it up and got under it, got under it to do a straight line backing. Anytime you pull up, that's the goal. You want to do a straight line backing. And this is where we at now. All right, we're good. In this case, you know, to fix this, we're gonna, we could move the front over a little bit and then get the truck straight. You know, we're good. This is not perfect, but we're in the box. Like I say, I always tell my students, Get it in the box. We're good in the back. This is what it looks like on the driver on the passenger side. Get it in the box and try to keep it centered because the last thing you want, see we're you see how we're at a slight angle? The last thing you want is you want somebody to hit you and then tell you that you are not in the box or you're leaning to one side or the other and you know blah blah blah. Like I say, you don't want nobody to give you any excuses, any crap about how you park. So, me personally, I always try to get my students to center it, all right? I'm always trying to get it centered, so whenever somebody comes and backs it up, either side, there's no excuse that I'm in my spot. So, keep that in mind, people. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fix this. All right, I'm gonna fix this real quick. Again, whenever I pull up to fix it, I'm gonna go to the right, because I need to move it to the right. So I'm gonna go to the right, back to the left, and then back to the right to get under it. So, first right is to move the trailer, wherever you, wherever you get the back of the trailer where you want it, you're gonna go back to the left to straighten the trailer out. Whenever you go back to the right, 
is for you and the trailer to get straight and set yourself up for a straight line back. All right, this is what we're looking now after we corrected ourselves. All right. And then I'll explain a little bit more about the pulling up, which is, I have a three-step process that I do with my students. You know, anytime you back it up, of course, you're gonna get out and look if there's somebody on this side, just to make sure your uh, tails are not gonna hit or the bumper or whatever. This is what I'm looking on the passenger side. pretty even there's no excuses or questions and somebody hits my mirrors or truck you know whatever there's no excuse that he's gonna give me that I'm not in my spot all right so whenever we pulled it up I told you there's a three-step process that I do I'm gonna stand over here pretend I'm on the driver's side all right so if you need to shift it over to the <coughs> to the right, which would be the passenger side, we swing to the right, and then once we get the back of the trailer where we want it, go back to the left, that's going to strain out the trailer itself, and just before it strains out, go back to the right for you and the trailer to be straight line back, all right? Uh, for you and the trailer to be straight, and then you do a straight line back, and so it's three steps you know if you want to shift to the left to the right that's the way you're going to start and then you're going to finish you know so if you want to shift to the left you're going to pull to the left you're going to watch the trailer when you get the trailer where you want it you're going back to the right just before the trailer straightens out you're going to go back to the left for you and the trailer to be perfectly straight not perfectly straight but you know straight and do a straight line back in and anytime you do a straight line back and always work with the driver's side meaning look at the driver's side mirror if you end it at the passenger side start backing it up and see what you need to do and then end up on the driver's side all right it's always important to always work on the driver's side it's a lot easier you can see better than it is on the blind side which is the passenger side all right so i just showed you a 90 degree sometimes you have to do a 90 sometimes you know, uh, most of the time, actually, I always do a 45. I'm always setting up for, for a 45, getting my students to to do that. 45, 45, 45. Like I said, every so often, every now and then, you do a 90. I don't recommend it. You know, it's just, it's easier 45 at an angle, and then boom, put it in the box. But this was the 90. Just showed you guys. Hope you like it. Share it, comment ask me questions if there's something i didn't explain i'll explain it ask me all right hope you guys liked it